easy as it was yesterday. It's just as easy today. All right. These are the three methods. We did graphing, which was inaccurate, but it's super accurate with your calculator. Then we have substitution. You're going to use substitution when it's like X equals or a Y equals. You can replace one for the other. Then today is the elimination method. It's called an elimination method is because you are trying to eliminate a variable. A variable will eliminate when one is positive and one is negative. So the first ones are going to be really easy. So I draw a line underneath it. And I'm going to add them. Now, why would I want to do that? Because what happens to 4x and negative 4x? Yes, they cancel out. So you end up with what? Come on. Negative. 7y equals negative 28. That is correct. So y equals what? 4. Now, once again, you have a choice. You can put it into the first equation or the second equation. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I agree, the first one would be easier. So I'm going to put it in here. So now, 4x plus 2 times 4 equals 0. 4x plus 8 equals 0. 4x equals negative 8. So x equals what? Negative 2. So what is my answer? Negative 2, comma 4. Now, please, like I said, don't sit and wait before you get in trouble and you can't figure things out. All I did was I added because the X's cancel. Mr. Grebe. Um, how come you're negative two vegetables? Because the X comes before Y, alphabetical order. All right. I always use X and Y, but I could choose any two letters. All right. Your answer is always written in alphabetical order. Good. All right, let's check out number three. We have a problem here. They what? They both cross out. So this cross out, this cross out. So if they both cross out, you end up with what? Okay. Zero. Zero equals negative nine. Is that true? No. So this is the one that is what? No solution, all right? And it's no solution. What does no solution mean in the context of these problems? They are parallel. No solution means that if I were to graph them, they would be parallel lines and there would be no solution. Peter. Zero with a cross through it. That would be nice. That means no solution, all right? No solution. Palmer. Mm -hmm. um, so does that mean that there's no way it's going to be an infinite number of possibilities or like would four infinite number of possibilities would mean zero equals zero. Okay. okay. So I need you to understand if it's a false statement, it's no solution. Zero does not equal negative nine. All right. Let's check out six. Everybody's looking at number six now for me. Can I just add them? Yes. No. No. I can't add them because they don't cancel out. Does everybody agree? I cannot add them. They don't cancel. So you are allowed to. Now, here's where you have to call. We say sometimes you have to multiply to do some elimination. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative one. How do I know to multiply the top equation by negative one? Because it will then, the 5x will become what? And the negative 5x and the 5x now will what? Right, so multiply the top equation by negative one, I get negative 5x plus 5y 
equals 15. Now, Palmer, what happens to everything? They all cancel out. So I have zero equals zero. So this we say is the infinite number of solutions. Under that, I need everybody to understand infinite number of solutions means the lines are what? No, they're the same line. That's the difference. Parallel is no solution. Infinite solution means it's the same line. All right, infinite means it's the same line. Yes, ma'am. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it's getting harder as we go down the page. So just you wouldn't know to say zero equals zero unless you multiplied by negative one. You see what I'm saying? If you just add them, you would get 10x minus 10y. What? No, I'm just writing that because I'm trying to reinforce when you see it in the future. All right, you will know what that means. All right. So here we go. Let's take a look now at, um, let's take a look at number seven now. No, I want to look at number eight. Everybody's looking at number eight. Does everybody agree I have negative 3x and negative 3x, right? So I need to multiply the top one by what? Negative one. All right, we're going to practice multiplying the top by negative 1. When I do that, I get what? 3x minus 3y equals 12. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take these two equations right here. We're going to add them. Now what happens to the x's? That's right. So what's 9y minus 3y? 6y equals 12, negative 12. Y equals negative 2. Everybody okay with that? So if y equals negative 2, now I come in, either one, I plug negative two in for y. So negative three x plus three times negative two equals negative 12. Walmart dropped the ball, so I just want to cover this. Thank you. All right, negative three x. Minus six equals negative 12. Does everybody agree with that? Negative three X equals, what do we got? Negative six. So X has to equal what? Two. So my answer is two comma negative two. What? Um, I don't understand what could you not just. I don't even know what that means. No, I want you to do it like that. I don't want you to assume anything. Bruin. How come on number one, since, no. since it was... Number one, you could just add them because they were already opposites of each other. Oh, that's why I want Yes. In a minute, you're going to see something else. You hear me? All right. So, yes. Because negative 3x and negative 3x don't cancel out when we add. You with me? They've got to be opposite signs. All right, so everybody take a look now at number nine. Do negative X and negative X cancel out? Mm -hmm. So we have to multiply by what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's going to multiply by negative one now.
And we multiply by negative one, I get what? Nice. Now what happens to the two X's? What do I end up with? Equals what? Somebody help me, please. Someone else? How much? Oh, with a calculator. And so what does Y equal? All right, now I know Y equals negative five. I'm just going to plug it back up in here. It's negative. So negative X minus five times negative five equals 28. Negative X plus 25 equals 28. Negative X equals three. Therefore, X equals what? So my answer is negative three, negative five. Very good with that. Palmer, what? Oh, wait. If the, if the x equals a negative, it's just change the sign. Yep, the sign. that's what that means. Change oh, the okay. sign. Maggie, good. Why is it the one you multiply? Like, I know that like it, it becomes, but like, why don't you like change the 5 y because it sends for y plus 5 y. Right? I thought they just cancel out. The y's didn't cancel out this time. The x's did. One of them has to cancel, okay? Oh, okay. Just one. All right. Wait, so then why wouldn't we have left it? Because it was minus 5y plus 4y. Because that wouldn't cancel. All right, now the next step. Everybody's going to look at number 11. Look up, please. Can I just multiply by negative this time? No, because they're not going to add. They're not going to subtract. Do we agree? Someone tell me what I could do so they would cancel. How? Say it. Very smart. Times two. Multiply the top equation by two. And then what happens to the negative y? It becomes negative what? And then what happens with the negative 2y and the 2y? Yeah, they cancel out. All right. So you got to have one positive and one negative. You can do whatever you want as long as the two cancel out. So multiply the top by two. What do I get? Well, x minus 2y equals 10. Wow. That's what happens when you participate. Good job. All right. Exactly. Stay with me. Now we can add them together. Right. When we add them together, I get now what? 9x, Nine. Nine negative. negative 18. Therefore, x equals negative 2. So now I come up here and I throw in negative 2. 2 times negative 2 minus y equals 5. What's 2 times negative 2? Negative four minus y equals five. Negative y equals nine. So y equals what? So my answer is? All right, I'm listening, Leah. Good job. You're going to find out in a minute. That's a good job. You are correct. Yeah. All right, everybody take a look at 13. Everybody's looking at 13. What could I do on 13? Palmer, you think you know? Multiply by what? Yes, multiply the bottom equation by negative six. Perfect. The reason why you do that is because the Y will become what? 
negative six y and the negative six y and the six y will do what to each other? Cancel. All right, so multiply that by negative six. And so what do I end up with? What do I end up with? 46x equals zero. So x must be what? X equals zero. Now I plug zero in for x. What do I get? 6y equals 24. Very nice, guys. It's easy, I'm telling you. So my answer is? Y no. 0, 4. <laughs> four. <laughs> I added 36 plus 10. Yes, yes, be careful. That's where make your mistakes now. Correct them and you'll be good. All right, here we go. All right, you have a choice here. Someone tell me what I could do. Multiply, Amaya, what? I can multiply the top one by negative two, or I can multiply the top one by what? You mean the top one by what? I can multiply the top one by negative three, or I can multiply the top one by, no, I can multiply the top one by positive three, Palmer, because three times four would be 12, right? And then the Y's could cancel out. Amaya is correct. You can multiply the top by negative two also. If you multiply the top by negative two, then the X's will cancel. What? I'm, I'm trying to get them to be opposites of each other. Come on, girl. Because four times three is what? And they would cancel. That Do you see that now, right? That's all I'm trying to show you now. You want them to be the same number, but opposite signs. That's it. That's why Amaya said I could multiply by negative two. Because the two X becomes negative four X and then they cancel. Do you agree? That's all we're doing. You have a choice. You don't have to do three. You don't have to do, you have a choice on your own. Figure it out. It doesn't matter how you do it you'll get the same answer, all right? So we're gonna go with Amaya because she started out with multiplying by negative two. So what happens to the four X's? So I end up with Help me. What's negative? Come on, guys. Negative 12 and negative 8. What? Negative 20y equals what? Negative 40. So y equals what? 2. Come up here. Plug in 2 for y. 2x plus 8 equals 24. 2x equals what? 14. How much? 16. So x equals 8. Final answer, 8 comma 2. Everybody good with that? What, Palmer? It's the same answer, Palmer. You multiplied by what? Negative. You, I told you, not negative three, positive three. Positive three. You hear me? And then it becomes six X plus 12 Y equals 72. You hear me? Palmer?
That's I don't. That's why I don't understand why you just didn't do it like what I said. Multiply by negative two. Okay, everybody's on 21 now. Everybody's putting a star by 21, please. Someone tell me why 21's harder. Ruin. Nothing can cancel. Leah, so what? That's right. So anybody have any ideas? No. Nope. What? Nope. Subtract. You multiply both of them. Both of them. Watch what I'm saying, please. Look up, guys. You have to multiply both equations. All right. So with seven and six, what can I multiply the seven by and what can I multiply the six by to make them cancel? Six and seven, that's right. Now, I'm gonna multiply the top one by what? And the bottom one by what? Uh-oh, we gotta look. Yes, negative seven, thank you, right? Could I have multiplied the top by negative six? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and the bottom by seven. Mm -hmm. One of them has to be negative. One of them has to be positive. That's all you have to do. One has to be negative. One has to be positive. So multiply the top equation by six. You're going to get negative 42x minus 18y equals 72. Then if I multiply the top by negative seven, I'm going to get 42x plus 35y equals negative 140. All right, this one's the hard one because you got to multiply both of them. Now, draw a line underneath it. Now I have to do what? Add them. What happens to the 42s? So what's negative 18 plus 35? And then 72 minus 140, negative 68. So Y must be negative four. Now, does it matter what equation you plug it into? No, but I just like to plug it into the first one for consistency. So negative seven X minus three, times negative four equals 12. Negative seven X plus 12 equals 12. Negative seven X equals zero. So X must be what? Zero. So my answer is of course, zero negative four. Everybody agreeing with that? You may have any issues. All right, let's see how smart we are. Let's look at 23. Come on, people. Everybody's looking at 23. They don't cancel. So what am I going to multiply by? Negative. Stop being parrots. What? Say it again. Yeah, five and negative nine. One of them has to be positive. One of them has to be negative. It doesn't matter as long as one is positive, one is negative. So I did five and negative nine. Come on, that's not that hard. Distributing the five. 45X minus 10Y equals negative 90. Negative 45X plus 63y equals 90.
Now what happens? So I end up with three y equals zero. So y equals zero. Now you plug zero in for y. So X was what? And the answer is negative two, zero. negative two comma zero. All right, help me out with number 25. Hold on a second. Let me see if I like a better one. Yeah, let's look at um let's look at 26 for a moment. Everybody look at 26. What do I want to multiply by? Yeah, you know what? I'm not negative six. We could just say six and five because that would cancel out the y's. Do we agree? Now, what look, please look up just for a quick moment. I let's say I wanted to eliminate the x's. So I agree 20. We can make them 20 by multiplying by five and negative two. Do we agree with that? But some of you are like, can I just switch them? Yes, you can do 10 and negative four also. But the numbers would just be what? The numbers would be bigger. So I understand what I'm saying now. You have all kinds of options. You just have to do the work and practice and then you'll be fine. All right. So. I'm going to leave it up to somebody. What are we going to multiply by here? Go ahead, Luke. Negative five and two. I like it. So multiplying by negative five and two. So that becomes 20x plus 25y equals negative 60. Negative 20x plus 12y equals 60. Wow, we got a bunch of zeros. So now 37y equals zero. So y must have been what? Zero. So now negative 4x. Five times zero is zero. So x must have been what? So my answer is Negative three, zero. All right, I'm gonna help you with 28 and then you're on your own. All right, so I need everybody on 28. Come on. I need help, what am I multiplying by? Seven. You could do negative three and seven. No, no, listen, I'm not, I'm saying you're right too. Um, you she said three and negative four, right? You can do three and negative four, and that's gonna eliminate the x's, correct? Somebody else said I can multiply by three and negative seven. That's gonna eliminate the y's. Do we agree? It doesn't matter. You just want the same number, one positive and one negative. All right. So let's go ahead with the three and the negative four. So if I multiply the top by three, 24x plus 21y equals negative 72, negative 24x minus 12y equals 72. Nine y equals now once again if y is zero. So x equals what? So my answer is what? 
negative three, zero. All right, what time does the bell ring? Two minutes. Two minutes, man. Uh, Finish up. Got lots of work, lots of practice. That's it. And the answers are on the back for you.